Welcome to the Heavy Spoilers Show, I'm your host Definition and after a pretty slow season 3, the ending of The Handmaid's Tale has arguably dropped one of its most shocking cliffhangers. Throughout this video I'll be breaking down everything that you need to know about the finale as well as where the show could be heading down the line. There will be heavy spoilers here, so if you don't want to know anything about the final episode, then I highly recommend that you turn off now. With that out of the way, I just want to give a huge thank you for clicking this video. Now let's get into my ending explain breakdown of The Handmaid's Tale Season 3. So Season 3 has pretty much been about June having enough with life in Gilead, and after seeing many characters die over the last 13 episodes, she decided that enough was enough and that it was time to break the children out of the country. Alongside Commander Lawrence, things throughout the season seem to be going June's way, and it could be argued that she's had quite an easy ride this time around. Well, in comparison to other seasons anyway. A lot of her plans have fallen into place throughout the series, and you might even be able to throw a Handmaid's Tale party to celebrate. Uh, yeah, maybe not. Her main mission this time was to get 52 children free from Gilead, and the finale opened with a flashback of her from when she was first captured seeing many mothers, including herself, losing their children. This of course mirrors her plan which is to take the children back, and you really get the feeling that this is a completely personal mission for June, who finally wishes to right all the wrongs that have been dealt to her and the women of Gilead. This is all about girl power, and she even goes past Commander Lawrence, refusing to quit the plan when things look like they could go awry. Whilst things do have a rather positive end, that doesn't mean that it's all smooth sailing for all the characters, and in this episode we also pick up with Serena, who after the last episode was exposed by her husband for her war crimes. Serena is arrested and it finally looks like we can dance in the streets singing Ding Dong the Witch is Dead. June doesn't have time to celebrate though, and after Lawrence tells her that he won't escape due to the fact that he will probably be arrested as a war criminal as well, he decides to remain behind and let her go and be the Moses of her own story. Alongside the Marthas, June and the children head towards the airport through the woods, and if you're not having an anxiety attack by this point, then don't worry because the show still has some surprises up its sleeve. At the airport, the police show up and June sees no other option but to distract the authorities and to sacrifice herself which allows the children time to escape to Canada and to reunite with Moira, Emily and Luke which is a really triumphant moment. June literally isn't out of the woods yet though and she's shot during the final few scenes of the season. We close with June in the forest being carried away as handmaids gather around her. She begins to dream of Hannah and Luke and in the final look we see her close her eyes, smiling as she thinks of all the lives that she's saved. This ends the show on a huge cliffhanger and there's actually a lot of speculation on the internet as to whether June is alive or dead. There are a couple of hints that this may have been her final episode throughout, with the character pretty much becoming a martyr in the storyline. Personally, I actually think that the showrunners may kill the character off and potentially focus on a new main character that is sort of inspired by June's heroic acts. The Handmaid's Tale has never been one for cliches and with there being a slightly negative feeling towards the third season and its repetitive outlook, I think this would be the perfect opportunity to veer off into uncharted territory with a new perspective and someone that could really go on a huge arc in the upcoming seasons. June is no longer afraid of the consequences of her actions and she's almost above those in Gilead, flat out disobeying them at the majority of times, which I think completes her arc. However, if they do decide to keep her alive, then I can see her possibly getting out of Gilead in the next season, and our focus shifting to a new character, or potentially showing her work on the outside as she tries to bring down Gilead from Canada. Either way, there's a lot of new directions that the show could take, and I'm excited to see where it heads in the future. But what did I think of the season overall? Well, I think on the whole this has probably been the weakest of all three seasons, with the show veering off into meandering territory and several occasions that left it feeling slightly underwhelming. Until probably the latter part of the season, there just weren't the huge gut punches that we've become accustomed to, and this on the whole left me feeling slightly disappointed in the overall run. I'm not saying it's time to completely close the book on the characters, but I do think that there is an opportunity here to discover new and exciting venues, and hopefully going forward the show takes it. Whilst it wasn't terrible, season 3 didn't live up to the highs and lows of the prior series, and that's why it gets a 7 out of 10. Obviously I'd love to hear your thoughts on the finale of The Handmaid's Tale, do you think June is alive or dead, and what do you hope to see in the future? 
comment below and let me know and if you enjoyed this video then please like it and make sure you check out my breakdown of the ending of Euphoria which will be linked after this. In it I give my thoughts on the finale so it's definitely worth checking out if you want to know more. If you want to come talk to me about movies, TV shows, games and comic books then you can follow me on Twitter at DefinitionYT. It's the best way to get in touch with me and it's the perfect place to suggest new videos and content so hopefully I see you over there after this. I also just want to let you know that we're giving away a free copy of John Wick 3 on Blu-ray and all you have to do to be in with the chance of winning is to like this video, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and leave your thoughts on The Handmaid's Tale in the comments section below. The winner will be chosen at random on September the 10th and the Blu-ray will be shipped out from then to ever get surprised so best of luck to everyone who takes part. This is a channel for people who are never missing television, so if that's the kind of thing you like, you need to subscribe to Definition. Thanks again for taking the time to watch this, you've been the best and I'll see you next time. Take care, peace.